He took on one of the state's largest departments with the conviction of a soldier on a mission. Now, former Department of Education Assistant Superintendent Ray LaRue is moving on. He told KITV4's Laurie Amata he's proud that he helped fix a broken system. You can help but read a newspaper every day and understand that they were in trouble. Ray LaRue says he walked into his new position two years ago as the assistant superintendent for school facilities and found a big mess. There was no data, there was no technology, there was nothing. It was shotgun style at $77 million uh, for the program. Since then, he's overseen an overhaul of the school bus transportation system, saying the Get On Board initiative has already saved about a half million dollars, affording the DOE room to reinstate canceled routes. Bus is now equipped with GPS and tracking systems servicing all of Oahu. By next school year, the Big Island, too. As we used to say, that was the first alligator swimming at the boat. Another alligator, a whopping $60 million a year utility bill. More air conditioning, farming programs, and aquaponics pushing that even higher. So you got to find a way to contain that and also meet our state goals of sustainability. LaRue says in May, the DOE reached a 20 year electricity deal with Chevron. The goal, bring the DOE to net zero, so produce only as much as it uses. Thereby almost having that electric bill. That means more solar on school rooftops and hopefully becoming a community resource for cheaper energy. The really slick part of the program was that it had an educational component. So you're dropping those learning labs right into the schools, K through 12. You're, you're designing a school of the future. Ideas still churning, this. despite Monday being his last official day on the job. LaRue says he's still working on several boards, connecting with a new think tank, and working with others, matching his passion for education for Hawaii. Collectively, I think if you harness all of that together, um, I think we can stay on the track of making school better. Laurie Yamada, KITV4 News.